Hey guys, it's Rainy. So for these earrings, I'm going to be using this template. I searched the image of like seashells online, arranged the image a bit. Then I just printed two. Now these are 100% inspired by the clip of the movie where Barbie is wearing like this seashell earrings and necklace. Hers seem bigger though, but I just made mine smaller. I'm going to leave below mine. Then I'm going to link to the image of the seashells as well, like themselves alone. Just in case you want them bigger, you can place them in a word document and then just grab them to make them bigger or smaller it's pretty much up to you now i'm gonna be cutting this and to cut them i'm using like this detail scissors and this scissors i found at like the beauty aisle these are meant to like trim eyebrows or for fake eyelashes so i'm just gonna be cutting a couple of them i'm gonna be using some porcelain clay this is clay that hardens with air which means that you don't have to bake anything but you can use polymer clay if you prefer it's pretty much the same result I just prefer to work with this one because I don't have to bake anything, plus I get a lot more product. So I'm just going to be rolling my clay using this roller, I think it's by Wilton, that has those two thicker purple rings on each side. And those are there so that you can have like the same thickness all throughout your clay. And now I'm going to be placing my cutouts on top. And as I mentioned before, this clay hardens with air the outside hardens first and so the inside is still soft so i'm just gonna let it set for a bit if you're working with polymer clay you don't have to wait for anything to dry you can go to the next step right now which is i'm going to be using my sharpie and just trace the image of my two shapes then remove my seashells and now while the outside of my clay is getting harder but the inside is still quite soft and flexible i'm going to be taking this tool i do have the diy question you had to make this this is a scribe tool dotting tool multi-purpose tool is really handy to have and it's really easy to make but i'm going to be using this to just make the indentations by dragging my clay going from the top towards the center of the bottom part. Once I have done that, I'm just going to be cutting them using the same scissors. The reason that I did the indentations before cutting them is because I need my clay to be soft for those indentations, but I needed my shapes to be not as flexible, just harder to just cut them. If you are using polymer clay, you can cut your shapes first and then just make those indentations. Now I'm going to be placing some pins on my seashells. This is when your clay is getting harder, but it's not like hard that you can't even place a pin. You're going to be able to tell this was around 20 minutes after i had the shape and i'm just gonna let them dry if you're working with polymer clay you can place your paint right now and then just bake it i'm gonna be rolling some other clay using my a math craft i do have a review for this one and this other rolling pin i did those rings on each side they serve the same purpose but now i'm gonna be taking my wilton 7 i'll use the like smaller side cutting out three circles cleaning this after rolling this tree into one bead and so i'm just gonna be making three beads which means nine of the circles to paint this, I'm going to be using this map pink. I customized this shade myself. I do have the DIY showing how to make this. Covering the whole thing, giving this to the three coats. Now for my beads, I'm going to be using this pearl acrylic paint, giving this to the three coats and letting them dry. Again, this is inspired by the clip of the movie. I have no idea if those are pearls or just white beads, but it makes sense that they are pearls, right? Then I'm going to be using some shine. The one that I'm using, I forgot to show it to you, is by Sculpey and it's just called Gloss, I think. Link my pearls for that i'm gonna be using my super glue i do have the review for this i got this super glue in a pack of 12 using my tweezers just to grab my pearl bead apply the tiniest tiniest glue that you can apply glue that on top i'm gonna to be using three eye pins i have the diy showing you how to make them in here i have one with the double hoops i do the same thing cutting that removing the pin and then just gluing my eye pins on my seashells with the hoops facing me then i'm gonna be using some ear wires opening them with my pliers placing my charm and then just close it and this is it for the earrings themselves i also made a necklace which is pretty much the same thing just adding a jump ring to a chain or a necklace opening my jump ring with some pliers placing my charm and then just close it but yeah guys this um set of accessories is inspired by the movie i saw them and i thought they were really cute and i wanted to make my own version of them mine are smaller and simpler i think but i like them anyways and i think she looks stunning wearing this they look like so much fun and random fact they go pretty well with like olive green clothing or army green yeah i like wearing them with this top I think they go really nice together and I also made this Barbie sign DIY if you want to check it out. I love how they turned out and hopefully you like them too. If you did, don't forget to give this a thumbs up and share this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later and take care. Bye!